<clears throat> All right. The misconceptions of witchcraft. Now, I've been thinking long and hard about this. And um, I know there's a lot of uh, people that are scared of the dark side of witchcraft. And I would rather say it's more of a balance in nature, because that's what nature is. But I've, uh, I've been going to uh, Wiccan uh, pagan ceremonies. I mean, it's pretty interesting. Those are, they're really nice people. They really are. But uh, most importantly, um, during the time uh, the pagan goddess Isis was my matron goddess, and for some reason um, she wasn't allowed in the Wiccan circle there. Um, and uh, I've been questioning why, whether or not she was like too dark or too evil. I kind of just thought about it, and uh, I came across a quote. I happened to pick up the book a, a while later. And it was a quote, and it was a book by Anton LaVey, and he said, The Wiccans will shield themselves to protect them from their own deities, call them up and protect themselves from them and stuff. The more I think about it, the more that tends to make sense. And there's a whole bunch of stuff, um, misconceptions in witchcraft. But I don't think I can talk about that many, other than um, a lot of white witches out there um, seem to be anti-necromancy, or the necromancies are the enemy of the, of, the, of the goddess, or something like that. But um, I know this because I've looked it up and I've researched it, but Hecate was um, uh, the goddess of witchcraft and necromancy. I've thought about that for a while. And, you know, some people do misconceive it. Um, I've been working uh, solstices, solstice magic, uh, bay leaf burning, um, Samhain rituals with the veil. I've been doing that for like a good year or two. And I kind of just uh, figured it out, mostly. Uh, because my matron goddess, Isis, the goddess and mother of Horus, and the, the Egyptian goddess. Um, she wasn't even allowed in the circle once they cast it. Um, there was another ritual I did a little later on. Uh, we did um, the calling of the Four Corners, uh, the guardians of the Four Towers. Um, they said it was Wiccan, but in actuality, it, that's a little dishonest because that originated from Alistair Crowley. Uh, he wrote the, all those rituals for his Golden Dawn, and it's uh, something definitely to look into. But I have come across um, wh white witches that were scared of necromancy, and they acted like, oh well this, oh well that. But in reality, there's actually a matron goddess of necromancy to talk to the dead. Um, if it's not your type of magic, don't say it's against um, the goddess at all. Um, you know, there's a lot of good sayings on this earth. And that is, do not reveal it all. And, yeah, I've actually gone to Wiccan uh, events. I've had practice with them. I made good friends with some of them. And um, we definitely, definitely praised the moon and all that. Even on the solstice of last year, there was a, a ray surrounding the moon on the night of the ritual while we were uh, bay leaf burning of our troubles of our past. And it's really all it is. It's just nature worship, love, support for family. It is um, a, a new dawn type of religion, a new age religion. Um, there's a whole bunch of stuff you can go to new age shops for. Uh, highly, if you're into them, get angel cards, get Oracle cards, get Aleister Crowley's uh, Tahuti or Thoth deck, because that is the most iconic one. And I highly recommend you check them out. Even get the Demon... Uh, Demon... I don't even know how to pronounce the word. Uh, Demon deck. Uh, the Daemon. Um, with spot with a D-E... No, D-A-E-M-O-N. 
because those that card is also good for um, an equilibrium there of uh, light and dark and all that. Anyway, but I've been um, they do recognize and they had an altar set up for Hecate, and uh, they worshipped her not only as a goddess of magic and necromancy, but they recognized her as a, an unholy patron saint of vampires. Um, so yeah. And there's a whole bunch of stuff. Um, I actually um, do have protection because I have uh, made uh, offerings to Voodoo Loa spirits many times. I don't want to. I'm not bragging about it because the worst thing you can do when you're um, following this type of lifestyle, you can't brag about anything. And that's one of some of the biggest advice I have for people that want to get into it or are into it or know about it is don't brag about it don't brag about it at all if you are invincible or you are very powerful just accept it don't brag if you are <laughs> but yeah there's a lot of uh, misconceptions about uh, Wicca specifically um, I know there's the satanic side um, but it gets um really wild after initiation. I've, I have not initiated myself at all, but I have spoiled myself with the witch's bible and read through all the degrees and spoiled myself. <laughs> um, so yeah, I highly recommend you actually get go to crystal shops, uh, research the specific meanings of crystals and stuff like that. Find a way to empower yourself and grow in your magical abilities because um um witchcraft witchcraft is not a religion okay it's the powers of the mind mind over matter and wicca's not as favorable for me because wicca kind of uh treats the magic and the potential of the human mind as religion when there shouldn't be a structure it should just be a uh, you know, if you really care about Gaia, um, you would follow her outside of your religious life. Make it um, daily, a daily routine, not a every Sunday routine. Uh, and the most interesting thing about uh, witchcraft and the black arts, witchcraft and the black arts, um, is it has been expanding, I think, ever since the early 2010s. Uh, new models and new descriptions. It's like, kind of like an evolving bubble. Um, I can't really say the name of these authors or anything like that, but they're coming up with revolutionary uh, models of practice and new ideas. So.